Hello, we're in England and I'll do some more art books. Uh, this is number 32. This book is titled Another Side of Gabriel Caruana. Gabriel Caruana, Caruana is a Maltese artist, was a Maltese artist. And the book is available in Malta. I happened to find one in England um, and I felt the price was a good price. So I bought this one off Oxfam. And in England, this book was sold for 14 pounds with, with no post charge. The reason there's no post charge is because we bought a lot of books together and Oxfam will charge the post once, 3.95, and then all the other books you buy extra, don't, they don't incur any charge. So Gabriel, Gabriel Gabriel Caruana did paintings, drawings, ceramics, and wooden, wooden sculptures and other things. I have got several several um, pictures like that for sale on my website in Malta, robertmorrisonantiques.com. And we have got some pottery as well, some unglazed, and we have some woodwork. So the book is a large format book. It's a large book, which is a good, a good start. And amongst all the art books I've bought recently, this one fares well in comparison, and I'll give you the reasons. The, it is possible to chuck together an art book and churn it out, but this book here has had subscribers who have paid towards it, who are listed, and it has got a selection of works which are hand-picked carefully and when you look at it you can tell they're, they're in the top echelon of what works because I commented before that this artist was so prolific that some of his works were base, basic to the, to, to the degree of being abortive and some, some of the works were fantastic and Rather than discarding his less good works, they entered the system, they entered the marketplace, he gave them away to his friends. So there's a lot of odd, very ordinary Carolina work around, which is cheap and not particularly good. And there is a, an equal amount of very good Carolina work, which is notable. So when you look at this, there's some carnival floats. We have a pottery carnival float by Caruana for sale, by chance. Um, People will associate him, I think, with paintings. These are beautiful examples in this book. Each one, each one really lovely. And with varying styles, which change and develop. Some of the works in here are fairly early. That's 1968, for example. And I think that they were very carefully put together. It's hard to make these things. It looks easy, but it's not. And um, the skill, they are skillfully made, though, as I say, there are some things by Caron which are less skillfully made. So it's a real eye this book is a real eye opener. It shows what he's capable of doing. The question really is how Maltese are they? I think they're, they're, they are fairly distinctive. I don't think that they are rip-offs of other people's works <clears throat> or rip-offs of other national nationalities of work. I think I think they're, they are fairly anchored into Malta, into the aesthetics of Malta and the sources of inspiration. There are some things which perhaps are borrowed from elsewhere, which is normal for an artist. I've noticed that Miro in Spain uses these colours, for example, and when it comes to some of his uh, figures, they look to me, to, well, that looks red Indian, it looks Arab, Aborigine, tribal. Some, some of the other things with the, with, the, with the figures, they have a tribal look. These have a tribal look to me, they have an Aboriginal look, sort of very much Australian look, those those particularly. 
and some of the other things he's got. That looks to me South American, Brazil, something like that. So, so I think he's he's using using other inspirations. There's, there's cave paintings in there, I think, somewhere. So, so he's drawing on different different sources of colour and design. I think that's fairly tribal looking. So I think I think that he's a good artist. I like his stuff. It's very uplifting. It's not at all disturbing or sad. And I I, I tell everyone not to buy sad works of art because they're depressing. These are not sad things. They're lovely things. And the book goes on and on and on. Lovely quality pictures. And had a lovely range of, as I say, a lovely range of items. And so much stuff I didn't know he'd, he'd done. That is a car tire which he's painted. That is a car radiator. That is a grill that he's painted. So if you're buying the caravana stuff, get to make sure it's signed and dated and if possible titled. These are wax drawings. We've got a lot of those at the moment. And I think it, uh, you can you often detect a caravana by looking at it from a long way away. You don't need to go and necessarily always look at who, you know, if it's signed or not. You know, it is a distinctive flavour. And the days of them being inexpensive are numbered, I think. I'm not sure how popular he is outside Malta. He is known outside Malta, but I'm not sure how popular he is. Thank you.